So one of my clients will call him Mr. K just started his wine collecting journey. He knows he loves burgundy and he likes a combination of both white and red. And I recommended a couple of older white Louis Latour Premier Cru bur white burgundies for him. However, yesterday he tasted 2019 Louis Latour and he says, I didn't really like it. Should I cancel my order? Here's the answer. Burgundy is so confusing. Now, the hard part of this question is that uh, Mr. K doesn't remember which label of Louis Latour he had. And Louis Latour is one of the biggest negotiable winemaker in Burgundy. And just on his website, you can see how many different labels, even if it's just the white, forget about the red, just the white, how many different labels they make. And when you're just starting with Burgundy, it is super confusing. Cause let's just talk about, about it on a bigger to smaller side. So Burgundy, big region in France. Inside of Burgundy, this is the entire region of Burgundy from north of Chablis all the way down to puy Fousse and some people even call Beaujolais as part of Burgundy, but this is a huge region. But out of here, you can literally make a wine called Burgogne and those Burgogne would literally be $12 a bottle. And guess what? Louis Latour makes a Burgogne, which means it can be sourced anywhere from this big region and generally most of the entry level wine that won't taste as complex, it will probably be pretty, you know, okay, but not going to blow your socks off, all right? But out of here, then you can go into the smaller region. Here in the purple side is called the Côte d'Or. And inside the Côte d'Or, on the bottom side of it, we have the Côte de Bon, which is right here, the purple part in addition to that. And then inside of that, you have individual village. So here we're going to point out the three most famous ones. We have the big one here called Merceau. We have the Polini Montaché and Chisania Montaché. And if we zoom in here, those are the even bigger, a more detailed map of Merceau, Polini, and Chisania Montaché. And inside there, you then started to have individual vineyards. See how small it goes? We have some Premier Cru and Grand Cru vineyard. The Grand Crus are the dark purple here. The Premier Cru are the slightly, sorry, dark purple, dark orange. The Premier Cru are the yellow ones surrounding it and some village level vineyards. And that's when white burgundy started to get really, really good. Plus couple years of aging, that is when it gets really good. So if, you know, without remembering which level of burgundy you had, it is so hard to say if you quote unquote don't like Louis Latour as a producer because believe me, Louis Latour actually makes some of the best white burgundy there is to have, especially their Montrachet or anything touching it, their Premier Cru vineyards, they do such a good job. Just an example, like I said, you can definitely buy a 2019 Burgon, which means this white wine can be sourced anywhere from the big journal Burgundy region for $12 a bottle, it won't be very interesting. Or you can get a 2019 Louis de la Tour Montrachet Grand Cru and the label look almost the same besides that one word that says Burgon versus Montrachet. And look at the price difference. You went from a $12 to a $700 bottle and there is everything in between. And also keep in mind, there's the condition that the bottle was kept in. If it wasn't kept in a great condition, it won't drink that well as well. And then also if you're looking for wines that, that I'm offering that's older vintage, it also changes. A lot of these great burgundy needs more time in the bottle in the cellar to develop and mature and get more of those sexy secondary and tertiary flavor. So if you just have one 2019 Louis Latour Y and you thought it was eh and but you, if you don't remember if it's a Grand Cru or maybe it was a Bagan or just an entry-level village wine I would absolutely not write out Louis Latour especially this winemaker until you try more of their wine because they are legendary for their white wine so I hope this helped and I know Burgundy are super confusing so we'll keep on this journey together and continue to learn more cheers